All right, guys, my man's Alex is right there coming in his beautiful Speed 6. I guess he's with his cousin or whatever, but nothing sounds good, man. If you guys don't remember this video, this car, make sure you go check out my old videos and stuff like that. If y'all don't remember this car, he's trying to get to 600 horsepower. He finally rebuilt his motor and stuff like that. You guys can check out the video from the old video and stuff like that. So, if you would like to see it, make sure you check out his video. That's Alex, my boy. I'll put his Instagram down for you guys to follow him and give him a follow or something like that. But, what's up, eh? What's going on, man? What's going on, brother? Yeah, so this is the final with built motor right here, <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah. So, he actually rebuilt the motor because he blew it. A couple months after you guys saw that video that went viral a little bit. And, yeah, he built the whole thing. New turbo, new manifold. Uh... What, what, are you forging internals now? Yeah, so it's a stage one SP63 build. It's got manly and turn, or yeah, manly connecting rods, Wesco pistons, built for 500 plus horsepower. Yeah. With a BNR S4 turbo, an HTP three and a half inch intake, uh -huh. and a TR8 front mount intercooler. Okay, okay, sick. See, I mean, ported intake manifold, ported exhaust manifold, but they're disguised as OEM, so it looks stock. <laughs> yeah, it's still fast. though. wait, why did they shut off? Turbo timer. Oh, what? Wait, what? So when you get a car, you, you so leave like, it on. If you're like beating the shit out of it, like we were doing down in Cars and Coffee, uh -huh. and you turn it off, it allows your turbo, since it's sucking in all that cold air, it gets it to the same engine temp. So when you turn it off, your fins and shit don't crack. Oh. And your ha turbo housing. It's tied right in with my ignition switch. What? That's sick. Wait, your car's a push and start? Nah, it just when you pull the key out, it just keeps running. The, I, the previous owner wired it all in. Okay, so wait, if if you if you like for example wake up in the morning, let's say it's winter time, you're trying to hit up the car a little bit before you leave, and you leave it on, it's gonna shut off. Nah. Oh. So like if oh, it's only when the key's out. So like if I turn it on, and uh, like get it started, I can set my turbo timer from anywhere from 30 seconds to 10 minutes. Yeah. And I can unplug my key and pull it out. Yeah. And that shit just runs. Right. right until right, I right. can drive it with the turbo timer on. Yeah. Not that you should, but. Yeah. But yeah, this car's pretty decent, man. I like it, man. I, I, I couldn't believe the other video almost went viral, though. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Like, we didn't even make a good video. We was just goofing around. But, I mean, there it is. I, I guess you guys like the video. That's why I asked Ellis to come back and show you guys after the built and stuff like that. But, yeah, he... Are, are you still in coilovers or what? Yep, case board coilovers okay. with upgraded rear shocks. It's got a catless down pipe. It's straight piped until the core sport muffler. So, wait, you, you don't have no height. High flow cats or nothing, just nope, straight, straight pipe. Damn. Custom straight wait, pipe. So wait, what, 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 automotive. No, no muffler, or nothing. No where's the name? I got two cork sport mufflers. That's it. What? But it still spits flames. Oh, this just spit flames. Oh yeah. If, oh, I, if oh. I get up to six k and pop it off at night, I'll light up my rearview mirror. <laughs> that's yeah, why that's, the back's all sooty. From yeah. Fucking yeah. running rich. Well, I was running really rich at first, and I have I asked my tuner to change the tune. I'll see your video later on. Remember, I was asking you a bunch of questions about it and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But this car's a beautiful car, man. I, I haven't been in it. I still never got a ride in it or drove it or anything like this. So we're gonna get right ahead and show you guys the video and the reaction video and stuff like that. I mean, it's it's a pretty decent car. I mean. I love the car, man. I mean, it, so I beat Mike two out of three times. You, you beat Mike yeah. today. You beat him yeah. two no. out of three times. No, I man. missed fifth. He That's missed, the only time he, he beat me. Gear, I almost threw it back into third, and I was like, "Fuck, let's, let's <laughs> throw, throw it right back in neutral." I was like, "Let it coast." Yeah. But two out of three times, we did a third gear pull and a fourth gear pull. She shot right twenty psi, and I, I didn't see him. <laughs> he was going. Yeah, I thought Mike was gonna win, though. I mean, so like at. I gotta get another revision tune. I'm only on my first one, but like right around 6K, I got more boost in fuel because I'm still running a stock fuel system because I'm a cheap yeah. ass. So like it starts to like sputter. I feel like I'm like blowing out a spark plug or something. Yeah. So I just keep letting off at 6K, but I mean letting off at 6K. They were I had both him. Both running 22, 23. Well, you, the crazy thing about these cars is that when you get the gray or the, whatever the color is, you get these white seats in them and stuff like that. It's like it's called a panda interior. The, the panda interior, which is like white and black. It's pretty dope though. I mean. I, I, I can't believe these cars came in leather seats, you know? I thought it were like... Got half... heated seats. Oh, you got heated? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is this is full luxury. I mean, fucking race on car. Full luxury right? race car. If, <laughs> if they're on too long, it, it kind of gets a little hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it, though. I mean, shit. Wow. So, uh, I mean, is, is this... What, what kind of turbo is on here right now? BNR S4. Pushing 24-ish pounds of boost. 24? That's It's a 55-millimeter turbo. Oh, shoot. So, wait. Is your wrist gauge, like... External waste gauge or on a, on a it's turbo? It's still on a turbo internal, oh, okay. but 
I just got my tax return, so it's about to get a new exhaust manifold, external wastegate, and maybe a new turbo. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a new turbo. All right, I'm excited for that. Shit, I mean, the car's pretty fast in waste. I mean, I like I like the car, to be honest. I, so, uh, I can't believe you beat Mike, though. I, I can't. If you guys want to see that video, I'm going to link it after this video. I upload this video. So, if you want to see it, make sure you go watch the racing video and stuff like that. Did you get a good footage, though? I believe who, so. Who was recording? Who was holding I it? had uh, Haley's little brother in the back seat. Show, have, with the camera. Okay, good. We good. had so Caleb on video chat. I had he my like, brother FaceTiming me too while I was racing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he, he wanted to like see this. it. I went like this with the phone. He's like, where the hell did he go? <laughs> he goes, you I wanted don't to know. See he's just, he's I, all the way up I, there. I mean, yeah, I know I wasn't that chance racing you, bro. I mean, my SD's pretty slow. I mean, it gets up there, a couple, smoke a couple cars, but I mean, it's not going to do nothing too crazy. And I'm not even going to try racing this shit. <laughs> 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 I mean, shit. I all right, really well, what are, you, you want to get right in the video and go for a ride and... Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, we All right. can. All right, man. We're going to go in the car. He can drive first, and I'll drive back or something and check out the car. He's going to drive my car, have a feel of my car, and see his honest opinion on the, on the difference in the car and stuff like that, you know? I wanted to get some roller shots today, but it was too many people, yeah, and it was, it was just hard. hectic, and plus Mike had to leave. almost got yeah. hit by, like, four cars this morning. I was <laughs> like, I'm trying to take a photo, <laughs> and, like, the most luxury car comes up and was like, hit me. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Please do. All right, so we're going to get right into the video then, guys. All right, guys. So I'm actually driving Alice Cole while she drives mine. Holy shit! His 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 stories is really short though, but I like it. My first impression of the car is that it's fast. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even try to get on it. Like what? <laughs> Yo, I can't believe it. But yeah, the car's pretty nice. I mean. It feels like a sedan, I guess, and it's pretty fast. It's pretty nice. Driving my car and driving his makes me feel like it's like mad old school in here. I'm trying not to install this shit because he has a kind of heavy clutch. You can tell the difference from the new car to the old car, hey? Oh my God. It's, it's, this is like the real feeling. I'm not trying to get in boosts like that, you know? Because it's not my car. I know, bro. These gears is weird. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at my car. Oh, it's so good driving. Look at that. Oh my god. This clutch is kind of heavy, so the downshifting process and stuff like that is kind of hard too, you know? But I can't really figure out the gears, and I'm nervous. I don't want to go too crazy, so. There you go. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Remember he said when you gotta go to five, it's like all the way down there. Yeah. yeah. All right, good. I got it. I got it. I got it. I like the car actually. To be honest with you. This one is kind of windy. I know. I like. He, he gotta go see his daughter, his son. Oh. I like the car actually. It drives pretty good. I mean, it just has this old school vibe to it, you know? And I don't know how he drives it, but the gears are really, really close to it. All right, fourth. Third. Holy shit. <laughs> this thing is fast. The boost is insane. But yeah. You guys asked for this video. You guys watched the first one. I think he's doing 600 horsepower right now. 500. I don't really know, but the car is fully built. You know, new internals, new motor, new stuff and stuff like that. So I can't, like, I don't know what to say. I don't, I didn't know the difference from before and after. So I can't really tell the difference, but he said the car definitely feels faster and stuff like that. And it's just pretty high. You know, it feels like a regular normal uh, stick car. Clutch is a little heavy. He probably upgraded the clutch during the process of him changing the stuff like that. And the gears is 
pretty short. Like, watch. Look, this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So, yeah, it's really close to each other. It's hard to drive. He's probably enjoying my shit because my shit, you feel where it's going precisely, you know? So, yeah, it's not easy to drive this. I wish I drove it when it was brand new to see the difference from it being old and stuff like that. But, I mean, once it's your car, you get used to it, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. But, yeah, definitely not easy to drive. I almost slowed it the first time, but I'm really excited to drive his car and stuff like that. But, his car definitely needs some revs for it to move. And I know he's having a blast driving my car. Oh, it's bright. We live in Pennsylvania, it's always freaking bright. I, I, I'm gonna have him drive it while I sit in it and feel the difference, you know, because I don't really know how to drive the car because the clutch, I mean, the gears is really close. I'm nervous to get on it or go any faster. And it's really rattly in here, but that's the experience of driving an old car, you know, you get to experience every little the every little rattle here you know if something is going on you know what the hell is going on but other than that you get to actually experience the car and stuff like that i like this car if it was railroad drive it would be sick but it's all wheel drive but still it's still sick i mean you're looking at the same power as a subi and stuff like that i like this car actually Maybe if I if I drive it often, I get used to the gears and probably enjoy it more. But I hear the turbo whistling and stuff like that too. <laughs> it's insane. This is the kind of stuff I like to do: drive people's car, get my honest honest opinion. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, tell me what you want you want to see. And then there's upcoming videos and stuff like that. I'll I'll make sure it happens for you guys. But I'll probably get on it when we get on the highway and see the difference. But I need to realize how the gears work though. First, second, third, wait, first, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I don't like that it comes back in the middle. You don't you don't think so? Yeah. I'm not sure if it's Oh, he has a, I can feel it. He has a shifter thinning in the middle. So yeah, I see you now. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a nice car. All this little leathers and stuff like that. Soft padding and stuff like that in the car. Pretty clean car. I know he's having a blast in my car though. <laughs> Cause it's way smoother, way, you know? You can definitely tell the difference from old car to new cars, to old turbo cars versus new turbo cars. Yeah. Cause this car actually gets and moves like crazy. But this one, you kind of got to work with it. And then, you know, he probably got a bigger turbo on it. So it takes a little while for you to get a boost. And I'm not trying to go all the way to the rev limiter and change and go in the wrong gear. Cause I'm not used to gear. So I'm having him drive it, like I said, and me sitting in it. Maybe if I do stuff like this often, I get used to what, what kind of car it is and stuff like that. But I like these little gauge pods here. I end the video real quick. <laughs> I'm embarrassed myself.
That shit sounds good. I never heard my shit like that. Phone call sounds good. You hear me? That thing sounds sexy. I like his turbo though. It, it just don't put you in your seat, but you definitely feel the turbo working and you know getting a boost. It, it's the kind of car that you drive, you don't feel the turbo by the time you look, you're doing like 140, you know? That's the kind of car it is. And my car is like, yeah, I'm letting you know I'm going fast. Well, because this is all-wheel drive and that's four-wheel drive, so you definitely feel the power. There you go. There you go. I'm done. See, I'm getting used to it, you know? If, if I keep driving it for like a little bit more, I'll get, oh, okay, first gear is right here, second gear is right here, third gear is right here, fourth gear is right here, but definitely I like the car, man. And he's good at it because, I mean, it's his car. He know what he's doing. He, he has a lot of turbo noises in here than I do. All right, guys, we in the car right now. You saw me drive the car, you know? I didn't want to really drive the car like crazy, so he's a man and he knows what he's doing and he's good at what he's doing. He's gonna be able to drive it and actually show the power of the car instead of me driving it because I was kind of nervous about the gears. I don't want to grind it or stall it or nothing like that. So if you watch me driving, I kind of revved it up to like 25 before I let go of the clutch. <laughs> but to be honest, you want to wait for it real quick? Does yeah. she feel okay coming? Yeah, she, she got, got it. See? She got it. She just get nervous, but yeah. So Alex is in here, and he's gonna get on there a little bit. We're gonna see low power, man. Yeah, I'm real excited about this car. I, I, I'm uh, like he blew his car up a couple months later. I blew mine. <laughs> and, so I was saying in the video, and that guy in your car, I was like, we both work one for one engine. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Oh, uh, but yeah, I'm trying to rebuild the other motor. I just need to pick it up and have time and buy parts little by little and build it. You know, I'm probably gonna go with internals. For the bottom end first. I know the top end is good, but I don't know if I want to keep the top end and just build the bottom. What do you think? Uh, I, so like top end builds, I was talking to the guy who built my engine. Like they say that doing cams and bigger valve springs and retainers are only if you're trying to hit like above 600. Yeah, I'm not trying and to like, do that. With me just fucking still trying to daily this on a couple days, like yeah. that, there's no point. And they said like, if you're not adding ox fuel, there's also no point. So at that point, you're just spending extra money just to have, say you have shit in your car. I know, right? So, so I would just build the bottom end. That's all you need. So you yeah. don't send a fucking rod. Right. All right, this is my reaction. How much possible is this going to hit? Which gauge, right here? Over here. Oh. Shit, this is ass, bro. What? <laughs> How many pumps? How much pumps did you hit? Fifteen. That was nothing, but still, it felt fast. So that all-wheel drive really leaves the line hard. Yeah. But she's been beating all fucking day, dude. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to get on it too much either. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you beat it on that 130 miles per hour. Oh, oh here we go. I know. <laughs> Yo, your girl can drive. But yeah, uh, so we're gonna end this video here, you know, we're gonna upload this video check it out Make sure you go to his page and follow him. You know what I'm saying follow him hurt him and you know Check out his Mazda. He posted it. it's a pretty nice car fast car. He has some more stuff He wants to do to it. So eventually he's gonna do it and make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel If you want to see stuff like this more, you know, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta like and subscribe if you don't I don't get a motivation to do the videos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But all right, man. Good seeing Thanks you, for boy. Out. Yeah, man. no problem. We we got we got link up and go for a cruise. I'm a, I'm attach a GoPro on everybody's car. We can go for a cruise and get some cool right. shots, man. All right, I'm so, in. Yeah. Also, let's do it when it's warmer. Yeah, yeah, when it's warmer, when it's warmer outside. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. So we got some cool footage of them racing earlier. Like I said, make sure you you watch it or whatever. Make sure you check it out, or whatever. All right, man. <laughs> we getting out of here. Bye. <laughs>